top five plays are brought to you by Kaleida Health for your very best health. Time for the top five plays of the week. Number five. And that's one of the ways you can win games on the road, especially close ones. Don't turn it over. Robinson high-low lob for a wad. He lays it up and in while drawing a foul. Nice high-low action there as one senior found the other. 18-15 now in favor of Youngstown State, but Watt is headed to the free throw line. Number four. Now to Barnett between the circles. McCray works it over far sideline to Watson, turns the corner into the lane, has it both free and stolen by Brooks. Three on one break. Youngstown State has it. Going to the basket, Brooks, and Watt knocks the shot off the backboard, no good. But it's recovered by Youngstown State. And now Perry misses a straightaway three. McCray there for the Buffalo rebound. Wow. Great hustle by Mitchell Watts. Number three. Bulls by a point again, 62-61. Perry with 18. Allen has 17. Top of the key, Watson off his screen, left open, tries and hits a three. 65-61, a rare three-pointer for the Bulls tonight. They lead by four. Number two. Oldham, Barnett, Robinson, McCray, and Watson for the Bulls, and McCray with a vicious tomahawk lefty dunk, giving Buffalo the 30-29 lead. Are you sure he's not left-handed? Number one. Off to McCray, left wing. Javon waving over somebody, goes cross-court to McC uh, Watt on the right, and McCray headed the key. Javon crossover dribble, takes it in the lane one way, now another, puts up a wild lefty shot, and Watt there for the follow slam! Wow, Buffalo calls time. The Bulls up to a 10-point lead, 74-64, after a vicious follow slam from Watt, after a rare miss tonight from Javon McRae. 49 of the 74 points that the Bulls have scored tonight come from the front line, and obviously the Bulls achieved their goal of establishing their power inside game tonight.